Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me here again, TF Fan Collector, with another video review. Now, in my last review, I reviewed Transformers. Well, my apologies. I didn't review him. I more or less talked about Jetfire and his history in the original cartoon and his new spotlight in his original colors in the new Siege show and in the new series Earthrise. So here I will be reviewing not his history, but getting into the detail. I will be again cutting this into another part because I tried reviewing this guy already into a whole set like talking about the detail about him and everything. And that whole thing just, it literally cut off right when I was in the middle of it. And I don't know what happened. I, I honestly didn't know what I did. I didn't press the button to stop it or anything, so I am just going to have to talk about the detail here, and eventually I will get down to the transformation. I promise you, I will. But with all that out of the way, before we get started with the figure itself, and of course, the amazing accessories, we will be starting off with the box. Now, Jetfire, I have to say, is one of the longest reviews I've done so far. I'm already doing a second part, and I have a feeling I might have to do a third part already. So, this is a really long review. I have to say that. But, besides all that, let's get started. Here we have Jetfire on his packaging with his armor piece. Now, Jetfire never wore his armor piece in the original cartoon, or in the Siege show, or in Earthrise, not that we can tell... But he never once wore this armor. He does, in fact, come with it in the packaging. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this armor is for. I do know that um, when I was looking up Transformers history back when I was still really young, when I lo back in my younger years when I had an absolute obsession for Transformers, um, I did, in fact, look up the history of Transformers and everything about them and discovered that this was actually the original body design for Jetfire. There's even a little mini toy. If you go into your local toy store and you see a mini figure like this looking just like this. So this was the figure that was going to be released originally in a commercial for Transformers, which I have to say, it also looks really good. And I can definitely understand why Hasbro would add this, because in the preview, this is what he originally looked like before they switched everything up and made him look the way he does now. But honestly, I have to say that this battle armor suits him so well, because he just looks so ready to beat up some Decepticons and just take and just take himself all the way to the next level of awesomeness. He's got the two wrist cannons on his arms, which I have to say look absolutely amazing. His giant ass gun, as you can see, looks absolutely incredible. You can actually split that in half, which I will get later on into maybe my third review. But you can definitely tell that when he splits his gun up and has his two wrist guns, he is ready to rain hell upon Decepticons. He will show Decepticon kind no mercy. And the little tips on his wings, like these things here, here, and here, I have no idea what those are for. Let me raise the camera up here a bit. Yeah, these things right here, I have no idea what those things are for. Maybe they're lasers, maybe they're missiles. I don't exactly know what they are, but I do know that they also look really cool on him and make him look a lot more... They just make him look a lot more, like, really cool. Um, that's the, that's the only word I can come up with right now. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this, uh, this whole armor plating makes him look a lot more badass, I have to say. I honestly kind of, it, it makes me wonder what he would have looked like if we got this version of him besides the version of him that we got in the original G1 cartoon. I honestly wonder what this would look like if we got this instead of that. It makes me wonder that. Here on the bottom, we have Omega Supreme Decepticons Destroy Objective Protect Cybertron. So, this is Omega Supreme here. I have to say, this guy is 
big just by looking at him in the background here this guy is big you can see some destruction going on around him and all i can say is that destruction right there just shows just how strong and powerful omega supreme is like i bet anything he was just destroying decepticons in that area that's just like he was probably just destroying Decepticons. And this poor Decepticon right here, this guy right here, you can just see Omega Supreme's claw reaching out to him. Yeah, this guy's about to meet his maker Primus. So it does not look like a fun day for him. It does not. Here we have Siege, War for Cybertron Trilogy. And right here we have... Oops, right here we have Jetfire with the Autobot symbol, along with Transformers and Age 8 made by Hasbro and Takara made by Autobot symbol Generations. And one thing I'd like to point out... Oh, oh my god, my apologies. Um, one thing I really enjoy about this packaging the most is the extra little detail that went into it. Here you can see the Seekers up top here. Just flying around, minding their own business, doing their own thing, probably about to head to battle, and just straight up kill a shit ton of Autobots. Just like they did in the original cartoon, the Seekers were ruthless, especially under Starscream's command. They killed any surviving Autobots on the spot. I think that's what I really liked about the Seekers, like the little change up they were given. Of course, they did follow orders and try to defeat the Autobots, but they never actually tried to kill them on the spot, if you know what I mean. These guys were ruthless. Like, I mean even more ruthless than the cons we know. Again, if you know what I mean by that. <clears throat> here on the little end here, we have a little mini jet right here. That I have to say looks very much like Cyclonus. I don't exactly... I can't exactly make out what this is. Even though we never did see Cyclonus in the original Seed show. I do have to say that this is probably definitely... <sighs> oh my god. My apologies everyone. I am sorry. This is definitely looking like Cyclonus. Because just the overall look of him by itself is Cyclonus. That, by itself, just straight up looks like Cyclonus. Here, on the top, we have the Autobot symbol. This looks all ragged. Like, this thing looks like it's seen quite a few days. I have to say that. This Autobot symbol looks like it was punched right in the face, and the marks didn't heal at all. Here, we have Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. And again, right here, Cyclonus again. Now, here you can definitely get a much better picture of Cyclonus. You can definitely tell this is, in fact, Cyclonus right here, flying around, doing his own thing. You definitely have to say that is him. And I have to say, um, I already have seen... Oh my god, dear lord. Oh. I already have to say that I have seen news on new uh, Earthrise Kingdom transformers of cyclonus being a part of the new kingdom rise which i have to say that cyclonus looks really good i definitely look forward to picking him up so who knows this actually could be a small sneak peek at the cyclonus we might be getting very soon who knows on the side here we have the lovely arc sitting right there on the side it didn't do that in the seed show but it did that in the original cartoon, and so far, it looks pretty great. I have to say, this whole scene right here looks absolutely beautiful. This, I love on how Hasbro and Takara just captured, whoops, just captured this whole entire thing, and just put it on the box. Like, that, that is just, mwah, that is nice, that is monzento, whatever the heck I just said. But yes, this is very beautiful. I absolutely love this shot. Here, again, we have Cyclonus. Again, much better shot of him. Uh, much up close. Again, never once saw him, but gosh darn it has, bro. If, you're teasing, if you were teasing us about Cyclonus being in the Transformers universe in the new Kingdom Rise, we already know who he is, okay? Stop teasing us about him. But 
that this is like way before I'm starting even reviewing this dude. So you all already know. I'm pretty sure you all already know about the um the news about him coming into the Kingdom Come universe. So yeah, here we have. Come on, get up, get up. Commander class, classy commandant, class commanded T. I have no idea how to speak other languages. On the side here, we have Optimus Prime looking all menacing like, I am Optimus Prime. I'm angry with Megatron. He betrayed my trust. I hate him. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. Like I said before, I tried reviewing this whole thing in one thing, so... Well, there's my, probably my brain saying, yeah, I'm no, I'm tired of this. <laughs> not quitting, though. I'm not quitting. Not giving up just yet. So, here we have Moonracer on the side here. Looks pretty good. Honestly, the only thing we ever missed out of the Siege show was Elite One. We got Moonracer, we got all the other figures, we just didn't get Elite One, which is quite odd considering she was in the original cartoon. Maybe Hasbro didn't plan on maybe Hasbro didn't plan on her being in there because I guess she was just one of those things that was just a, like a last minute sort of thing because we never once got her in the toy line. We do have her in the toy line now, but we never got her in there before. So I honestly wonder why we didn't get her before even cl since we clearly got her in the show. So again, maybe she was just a last minute thing just to fill in a gap or so. Who knows? Here we have Prowl right here on the side and right here we have Sideswipe. I do, in fact, have Siege Sideswipe, and I will review him eventually in the future. I do not have Siege Prowl. This guy looks really cool. He was in my local toy store when I was going there to check out new figures. I never once got this guy. I never once got him. I don't know why. I never once got him. It, I was just like, okay, there's Prowl. I'll get him some other time. Right now, I'm going to get these, these figures. Never once got this dude. I have so many other Siege characters. Not this dude, though. Not this dude. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? Why Why the hell didn't I get him? I don't know. Here we have Hound being carried by, of yours truly, Red Alert. Red Alert is another character that I never once got, even though, again, he was in my local toy store. Never once got him. And again, I don't know why I didn't get these guys. They were awesome. I do, in fact, have Hound. Um, I can't remember if I reviewed him or not, but if I did, then... Yay. <laughs> um... But I do, in fact, have Hound. I'm pretty sure I did review him already. Red Alert looks... Honestly, he looks really cool. At first, I didn't get him because... In my eyes, Red Alert is just like a straight-up repaint of Sideswipe. Even though in the original cartoon and in the Siege show... He, he played an amazing role for the Autobots. He played such a great role, like being the medic and everything when Ratchet wasn't there... He played such a great role, like, it makes me want to get him now, because he pl because he was such a good character. And here we have the arc taking off from Cybertron, going... So, that is the arc for you. And here we have all the Autobots and Decepticons fighting one another, again, with Optimus Prime and Megatron fighting at each other, clashing it out with a Seeker, who I have to assume is Starscream, and a bunch of other Decepticons and Autobots going at it with each other. And this beautiful shot of Cybertron right here, this just beautiful shot with Transformers Authentic Siege War for Cybertron trilogy on it. Just a beautiful shot right here. Again, I wish this was a poster, because I would so want it so badly. Hasbro, I will never stop bugging you about this until you make us a goddamn poster of this. I will never stop bugging you about this. I will not, okay? Make us a damn poster. I will not stop bugging you. For those of you who agree with me who say that Hasbro should make a poster of this, please leave it in the comments. Yes, I want a poster. If not, then that's your choice. <laughs> I'm not trying to force you. But yes, Hasbro, we need a poster of that. Please! Here on the back, we have Jetfire without his armor and Jetfire with his armor on. Now, when I first put this armor on Jetfire, he looked sick. Of course, I won't put him on. I won't put it on him now because, again, I'll have to go into the third part of the video. But 
Yes, this looked sick on him. It, he looked so OP with that armor on. Here we also have him with his jet mode. And I have to say this jet mode is so incredibly accurate to the original cartoon. He is so incredibly well good in the jet mode. I don't know. I can't remember if I have told you guys this before. But my most favorite part about transforming a transformer has to be the old mode. The old... Oh my dear Jesus Murphy. Quit yawning. Holy crap Tia fan. Quit yawning. You're being rude. Yes, the jet mode. I have to say that the vehicle mode of all Transformers, the old mode, has to be one of my favorites. Because the old mode is just so well done and so good. And right here again, you have the accessories looking very nice. I do, in fact, love these accessories. I do. They do, in fact, come with the rocket boosters here, as you can see. I did not, in fact, add them because that's just... I don't want the video being any longer than it should be, even though it'll be all going into the third part anyways, like uh, a third part video. Who knows, I might just add the rocket boosters then, but for now, no. And here, oh, I never noticed this before. Here we have <clears throat> combat weapons armed D combat arms combat. I didn't, I don't know why I miss these little, little things like this. I don't know why I miss so much. I always miss little things like this and I don't know why. Here we have warning. Please do not let your kids breathe or eat anything in this box that may be toxic for them. Well, not really, but do not let your kids under the age of over age three at this box. Make sure that they are at least the appropriate age where they know how to, how to properly handle their toys without breaking them. Because I know that there are a lot of kids out there who do do that by accident. Here we have made by Hasbro. And on the top here, Jetfire with, of course, the Autobot symbol. So, yes, that is the packaging. It has been 17 minutes already, so we have just enough time to get to get into the look and everything of the figure. So, without further ado, the figure. Now, again, I, only, I always try to keep my videos 20 minutes long. I tried pushing it to 30, and it did not work. Like, it did not work. So, it's just going to be t somewhere around 20 minutes long. Like, around 20 minutes or longer. Who knows? But, yes, here is the figure Jetfire. Again, we'll not get into the accessories or the transformation just yet. I'll do that all in the third part. But, here is Jetfire in his robot mode. Here, let us get a closer-up look at this jet fire right here, get a close look up at his noggin. His head can, of course, do a full 360 around. It can go up that far and look down that far. His arms can, in fact, somewhat go up. They cannot do a full 360 because of the wingspan. And yes, I have tried moving the wings out of the way. It does not help. Same thing with this arm. And the legs, of course, if you move the arms out of the way like this, put those pieces up, the, arm, the legs here can do a very lovely split. Yikes, mamma mia! So there are the legs for you. They can also move out like this and go in like this. So that is Jetfire for you, and I have to say that this figure looks really damn good. I have to say, this is one of the best looking G1 figures I have ever seen. His logo can also, let me get him up closer here, his logo can also turn around like this. So for any of you G1 fans out there who absolutely love nothing more but G1, I bet there are a lot of you who got this guy and were just like, oh yeah, I'm recreating that scene where he betrays the Decepticons and turns to the Autobots, the true traitors of Cybertron. I I bet most of you G1 loving fans out there will have already done that. I, I bet that already. 
I, for one, personally thought he did better as a Decepticon, so I mostly just keep it as a Decepticon symbol because, well, I like my bad guys. But, yes. Anyways, that's all for this review. Um... Yeah, that's all for this review. I don't really think there's a whole lot else for me to talk about here. Um, besides the fact that I would highly suggest this guy, if you don't already have him, and if you're waiting so long to get him, and if you don't already, um, if you can't find him anymore in your local toy store, I would highly suggest looking on Amazon. I got this guy at my local Toys R Us. No, my Toys R Us is not closed down. I know a lot of places... Um, how, where their Toys R Us's were, are, mine is not, I'm really happy about that, there were a few times, it almost closed down, a few times, but it didn't, I'm super happy about that, because I loved going to Toys R Us ever since I was a kid, and I will never stop going there, but yes, Jetfire was honestly one of the coolest Transformers out there, he is definitely not one of my favorites, but this figure grew on me just as a popular character on its own. Like, it took me a very long time to realize just how much I love this guy. Like, right when I got the figure, I'm just like, wow. I didn't realize how much I love this guy. But the the straight-up detail of him, like, just looking at him alone, like, the detail, the carvings and everything. Just how much detail Hasbro and Dakara go into making... um these things look as good as they do just it, it is so mind-blowing and so amazing you can definitely tell that things like this are definitely held by people who truly worship things like the transformers universe and that is something that is absolutely incredible and just straight up amazing but anyways guys that is all for today Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Hit that like button, smash that notification bell to get notified about brand new videos every other week. Tell your friends and family, share this video with them, let them know about me so that they can give me a try. Have a great night or day, depending on where you are. And as always, never stop being a kid, do what you love, and have fun. But as always, wash your hands, stay safe, wear a mask, even if you don't want to, if you have asthma... Um, literally nothing I can tell you there. I, I have no advice for you. I'm sorry for anyone out there who has asthma. I am very sorry for you. But, yes, wear a mask if you can, wherever you go. It, do it doesn't matter if you don't want to or not. It is very important. But, anyways, guys, have a great night or day, depending on where you are. And, yeah, I will see you all next time. And, again, till all are one.